I, I'd be shocked if you thought that Topuria could dominate a great, great, great fighter the way he wound up doing. Good for Topuria, new champion, new breed, but man, to see a guy of Max's uh, caliber get dominated like that, do you think that it was that Max is just getting old right in front of him. He's been around a long time. He's got a lot of miles on the abdominal. Or you think it's a combination of the age and Topuria just being that good? I think Topuria, I'm taking nothing away from this guy. Max wouldn't want me to. I know Max. He's a gentleman. He's been on our show. He's a great human being. He's a great, great role model. He's a great champion. He wouldn't want it any other. No, I think it was just Topuria being that good being that good because Holloway didn't show any signs in his fight before this when he was unbelievable when he won the BMF belt he didn't show he didn't show any signs against a really good fighter he didn't show any signs in his last fight of aging or, or legs going or anything like that and he didn't show it in this fight he was having a good you know he lost the first round the second round he I thought he won uh it was close uh where Holloway was getting, we knew he had to win on the outside. Holloway had to control the geography on the outside, use his height, use his reach, that length that he has, that jab that he has, those legs that he has, to box brilliantly, to control distance. That's what he had to do. Topuria had to close the gap, but he had to do it again. He had to do it without leaving himself open. To counters, he had to do it where you know he he wasn't available, and that's what makes him so good. It's the technique, yeah, it's his talent, yeah, it's his, he can punch, all of that, but he covers up real well. Topuria, when he's aggressive, he's covered. He's moving his head, he's bringing his legs with him, <laughs> he's using his jab to close the gap. He's putting bugs on the windshield, making it hard for you to, you know, to see him coming in, making it, you know, blurring your vision on the windshield a little bit so you can't get a, uh, a real bead on him coming in. He, he, he's making sure he's not out of position. And yeah, he can punch. You know why? Because he's got his legs under him. When he delivered those punches, his legs were under him. He wasn't reaching. And you know what he did? He was smart. Little things. He went for a takedown. He's good on the floor too. He's so rounded. But he went for a takedown. They're both great strikers. And that's what it was. But he went for a takedown. Why? Yeah, he's well-rounded. Maybe he's got the edge here. But why? He also was is a great striker. He did it to keep Max thinking. To make him just to think a little bit that he had to think about that. If he's got to think about that, that he might go for his legs, now it might make it a little easier <laughs> for him to be able to get inside on Max striking. If he's got Max thinking every once in a while, Everyone just put a little seed in his head, a little seed of doubt, whatever you want to call it. Max doesn't have doubt. He's, he's beyond that. But, but just put in his head that I, I got to be aware that he might come low. And if you're aware that he might come low, it's making it easier for him now to come at you in the way that he intends to come at you, which is in a striking way, high, coming forward. And... I thought that was part of his, his strategy, part of the plan. I didn't think it was just done. I thought it was done in a very strategic, thought-out way. And then another thing. He, being Topuria right now, he understood. He, he sized it up. He understood strengths and weaknesses. All right, the guy's strength is he's, he's a, got a terrific chin. We know that. He's got a great jab, great legs, controls range really, boxes really well, puts punches together, max, really well, controls the outside, uses his height really well. What do I got to do? Wait a minute. What do I got to do? I talk about this all the time. When you got a tall guy, when he's on the outside, he's got an edge. He knows how to fight tall, which Max does. He's got an edge. He can hit you before you can hit him. He's tall. He's long. If he, if he stays consistent with discipline of his geography, where he stays in his domain, he can give you, he's, he's given himself every advantage to have the upper hand to win a fight. So what does Topuria think? Topuria says, wait a minute. 
He's tall. He's long. But if I can close the gap, well, there's do's and don'ts. I must make sure I don't get reckless or sloppy or anxious closing the gap. Number one, bang, check box. Number one, okay, bring my legs. C- gradually put pressure on. Come in behind jab. Close gap cautiously, aggressively. Check. Number two. Once I do start to close the gap, now I have an advantage where I have a guy who is tall, who is long, who is up. There's a target up there. He is straight up. I can hit that target. I can catch that target. And another thing, yeah, he uses his legs. But if I can apply pressure properly, I can force him to use his legs in a way where he goes in a predictable direction, back. <coughs> and if I can force him to go back, which was his plan from the beginning, I, it's like I could look right into his brain and see what he was thinking. He's putting pressure on to force him to stand up, to force Max to go back. And if I can get him to go back, he's predictable. And if I can close the gap just at the right time as he goes back, I can catch him standing tall and on a straight line. And what did he hurt him with the first punch? The right hand. How did he catch him? Going back. Over the jab. And how do you take away somebody's jab? Yeah, he's got a great jab, Max. Great. You take it away by countering with right hands over the jab. If you can get close enough where you can throw the right hand over that jab, the jab, as great as it is, it can be a dangerous weapon for the guy throwing it because it leaves a door, a portal, a window open for the other guy's right hand. The jab comes, bang! The right hand can come right over, right through that door. And that's exactly what a smart, not just a talented, but a calm with good vision, good eyes, calm in an uncalm environment. That's what he can do. And that's what Topuria did. That's his greatness. That's all of it. It's not just one part. So what did he do? He applied pressure. He got Max to go back. Knows he could get him to go straight back. Max sometimes goes straight back. Yeah, he breaks it off to the side, but sometimes a little late. He knew he could get him to go back straight. Far enough, enough of a distance where he could close the gap while he was still there and hit him with the right hand. And then he would throw the jab, and as he jabbed, he would throw the right hand right through that window, right through that opening that the jab would create. That's exactly what he did. Pressure, got him to back up, close the gap, close the gap, Max threw it, went back, bang, right hand, hurt him, went back, then he went in for the finish. And when he went in for the finish, what did he finish him with? The other hand. Because he, he knew that now I can go to the other hand because he won't look for the other hand as much. And what does Max do? Again, he exploited the strengths of Max. He turned it into a weakness, the height, the standing straight up. He exploited that. Max pulled away. He was hurt, but he pulled away with his hands out to get away. And as he pulled away, what did Topuria do? Step to him again. Good form, legs under him, power, short, compact left hook from the shoulders. That's where his power comes from, right here. Boom, short, compact, not an arm punch, here. Boom, left hook, night over, night over. And there's one other thing, big thing, big thing. What did Tapuria do? Kept it tucked in, kept it tucked in. What did Max do? Max is great, great. You don't need Teddy Atlas to do anything. I love you, Max. But he keeps his chin up. And he gets away because he sees everything. He's got a great constitution, a great chin. And usually, you know, he keeps his chin out of, you know, harm's way for the most part by using his legs, using his jab, using his leg. But all of a sudden, that was taken away. And now his chin up in the air, like the old times would say, a lantern in a storm. His chin up in the air. And it became an easy target, a solid target, too solid. 
for a puncher like Topuria. And that's it. That's all she wrote. That was it. That I think that's the breakdown. I mean, the first round, again, I made my notes, but I think I gave it to you. You know, Holloway, uh, again, Topuria patiently used the jab to close. And and I love the way Topuria's feet are quick to close the gap. He reminded me of a young Manny Pacquiao, where his feet, his feet are quick. Quick. Boom. He closes the gap. When the opening's there, he closes the gap, and his legs are under him. Balanced. Like I said, the top is set because the bottom is set. You know, you got a lot of these guys that reach it. Their, their upper body gets ahead of their lower body. Not him. Not him. He does it. He's got good trainers. He's got good people, just like Max does. But, but it shows. Yeah, after, after the second round, I had it 1-1. I, I could have made an argument for 2 nothing, But 2 nothing would have been for Tripuria. But I thought Tripuria, I thought Holloway the second round so I had it 1-1 going into the third and then of course the third round was in.